Hi everyone, it's June 26, 2018. I'm going to start this video with just a little bit of information on the artificial cloud making that I have found and then I'm going to show you the artificial clouds in real life. Artificial clouds are an everyday occurrence here in Anderson, South Carolina. And the artificial thunderstorms that they create, which we had yesterday, and we lost power again from 5 o'clock yesterday, 5 o'clock p.m., until about 9 o'clock this morning. Some considerations concerning effects of artificially injected ions on aerosol and cloud microphysical processes. As early as the 1940s, scientists funded by government were conducting studies and engaging in projects to create artificial clouds. The traditional method has always been seeding clouds in use since the 1940s, the technique calls for an aircraft or rocket to inject silver iodide or other substances into the atmosphere. The chemicals mimic the particles that serve as surfaces for condensation to occur. If the condensation creates water droplets that are large enough, rain will fall. This is the new method, ion generation. Metro Systems, and that's a company. Metro Systems has built five sites with ten emitters, each in the deserts of Abu Dhabi. When the relative humidity at the ground reaches 30% or more, the emitters are switched on. Now they can create humidity. So they switch on the emitters, the charged particles attach, to so-called condensation nuclei in clouds where water droplets form. Ions allow the nuclei to survive longer, giving water droplets more time to grow. Each tower is about 33 feet tall and uses about 500 watts of electricity. The towers generate the ions, the particles with a negative electric charge, and voila! you got cloud. Atlant is another company. Negative ions, aerosols. Negative ions are generated from a high voltage corona discharge wire array. Ions become attached to particles in the atmosphere. And I'll tell you what those particles are in one second, but they attach to the particles in the atmosphere, which later act as condensation nuclei, the electric charges are transferred, ion plume conveyed to the higher atmosphere by wind, convection and turbulence, electric charges influence the collision and coalescence of the cloud droplets resulting in enhanced rainfall downwind from the Atlant, from the Atlant generators. Black carbon, wow, black carbon absorbs sunlight and heat from the earth. Black carbon seeded clouds. You see those gray and black clouds? They're seeded clouds. Black carbon breaks up clouds in certain situations or black carbon can actually enhance cumulus clouds. Companies involved, some of them, Earthwise Technologies, Texas, Atlant, Australia, WeatherTech, Switzerland, and the United Arab Emirates, Ionogenics, Texas, again, and California, dispersing ions in order to influence precipitation. It's derived originally from a Russian technology known as ionization of the local areas, Iowa, created back in the 1980s. All you need is an array of towers, wires, sometimes steel wool, 
sorts of tufts, high electrical potential in order to produce corona current. How to make artificial rain caused by ionized particles moving up from the ground. Why do we see these massive clouds that look like they're growing from the ground? Because they're being created. You're looking at the ionized particles moving from the ground and attracting water vapor from the ambient air to form clouds. Large ionizers produce negatively charged particles or electrons. These particles naturally attract dust particles present in the ambient air in desert and dry, arid regions. Particles reach the height around which the clouds usually form. They stabilize and then the negative charge of the particles begins to attract the vaporized water mo molecules around resulting in the formation of mini clouds. The size of these mini clouds grows. So when I've posted videos and I've said you can stand there, you can look at a cloud and you can watch it grow that's what is occurring. That's what we are seeing. The size growing as more particles move up and attract more of the humidity. So again, the humidity has to be at least 30 percent. Yeah, they can create humidity. These clouds begin to rain as the temperature starts to cool down, mostly during night times in the desert. The resulting rain will be combined with thunder and lightning, or not, which happened yesterday. The charged particles act as giant electrodes in the sky, across which the lightning discharges. So many people have been leaving comments saying they're seeing very unusual lightning or we see these clouds that are producing a lightning effect in the cloud it's all the charged particles and that is created by the ionization the electrification the electromagnetic frequencies that we are so saturated in now this is a, a, an electric company, AEP. It ranks among the nation's largest generators of electricity. Uh, it owns the nation's largest electricity transmission system. It, this is in the United States. The utility companies under AEP, they have an AEP Ohio in Texas. Appalachian Power, AEP Appalachian Power, Indiana, Michigan Power, Kentucky Power, Public Service Company of Oklahoma, Southwestern Electric Power Company, and yes, our utility companies are involved in weather modification. Yet again, weather modification by artificial satellite. Oh wow, they can create high humidity air masses. Or form clouds. They can increase the moisture content of the air mass. High humidity air rises to higher altitudes. It begins to cool and form clouds. Kurt Vonnegut's brother was involved back in the 1960s in creating clouds. In creating clouds. Cloud growing from negatively charged air. Abnormal polarity of thunderclouds grown from negatively charged air. Experiments were carried out in New Mexico to determine whether the electrification processes that lead to the formation of lightning in clouds are influenced by the polarity of the charges in the air from which the clouds grow. Normal positive space charge in the subcloud air was reversed by negative charge released from the electrified wire. When the clouds over the wire grew and became electrified, abnormal polarity 
with dominant positive charges instead of the usual negative charges in the lower part of the cloud, the electrification process in thunderclouds can be initiated and its polarity may be determined by the small charges that are present in the atmosphere. Yes, man has been involved in altering all of our natural processes for a very, very long time. Weather modification by carbon dust absorption of solar energy. What can this do? It's an artificial heat source. Think about how hot it is where you are living, but the artificial heat source will lend itself to the production of extra cumulus convection. And this extra cumulus heating is likely to keep it going or intensify it. What? Mesosystems. Likely to keep the mesosystems going. And they can intensify those systems. It makes clouds bigger. Black carbon makes clouds bigger. You deliberately seed with black carbon dust and you have clouds that get bigger and bigger and guess what? Look at the shape. Do you see vertical clouds in your sky? I see them all the time here. And the black carbon, well, it can, it can do an awful lot. It can enhance rain. It can reduce the inner core hurricane intensity. Funny, but they're not using it to do that. Um, it can be used for cloud enhancement for those regions that need precipitation. It can alter extratropical cyclones it can dissipate fog, and it can accelerate snowmelt. Foreign Technology Division, what is this? This was back in 87, artificial clouds in the Earth's atmosphere. Have you seen your sky looking like this? How about a nice lined gray curtain, which I have seen here often. Or how about your sky looking like you've got a light blue above, but then you got a straight line of this, I don't know, brownish color? That's from black carbon dust. Artificial clouds in the Earth's atmosphere. The idea of creating luminous clouds, what do they need? Lithium, potassium cesium, barium oxide, europium, titanium, tetra, tetra fluoride, aluminum. It's capable of creating neutral and even ionized clouds. Soon a new type of artificial cloud would appear from these experiments and they call them smoke clouds. Smoke clouds? You want to see a smoke cloud? Do you see the smoke clouds in your area? The white cloud with all of this black or gray on the outskirts of the cloud. And it looks like cauliflower or cottage cheese. The artificial creation of smoke clouds, which now here in Anderson, South Carolina, wow, do we have it pretty much on a daily basis and it's it smacks you right in the face and then you get to live a really surreal life because hey everybody just goes about their business nobody notices how unusual the clouds are how huge they are how there's different texture within one cloud it's bizarre. It, I, I, I just, I, I li I'm just shaking my head every single day. I don't know what I'm living anymore. But these smoke clouds formed at stratospheric and meso 
hyperbaric altitudes due to the rapid combustion of certain chemically active substances in the atmosphere with the subsequent formation of a cloud of sub-micron particles. Abu Dubai, Weather Project, $7 million to create man-made rainstorms. And guess what? They made about 50 rainstorms in a desert using giant ionizers. Generate fields of neg negatively charged particles, which create cloud formation. As NASA creates clouds over Alaska in conducting weather experiments. In deflecting hurricanes, where do we aim them? And this is 1970. Weather may be unnaturally severe because of unnatural modification. And I can't read the date on that. CIA or the weathermen? Did the CIA order weather modifications to ruin the Cuban's sugar crop in 1963? and 1970. This was written in 1996. Navy creation destroyed clouds. Ordinary carbon black is used. Wow. So here's another PowerPoint presentation uh, capture. Look at the neutral aerosol cloud. Oh, well, you get a little bit of cloud. But the charged aerosols, well, you get a real big cloud. And then you come across articles like this. Mystery ingredient influences cloud formation. Really? Yes. Our journalists, our experts, our scientists. Mystery, mystery, mystery. It's not a mystery to me because I see black carbon, I see lithium right smack in that sky But we've got these people who actually get paid, get paid to, I don't know, just deceive people. And it makes me sick to my stomach. Cloud, yeah, here we go. Global warming, climate change. Oh, it's messing with the clouds. And it's really a big deal. It's a big deal. There's only one conclusion we can draw from these alarming findings. We need to curb climate change and fast. Disgusting. Disgusting. These people. It's climate change creating the smoke clouds. Oh. The bad news about clouds. We know even less about them than we thought we did. The good news? We might be on our way to figuring them out. We've got friggin' children writing these articles. This was yesterday. Vertical clouds, massive clouds. I drive around here and I'm like amazed that, I don't know, is everybody just thinking that this is, this is what they have always lived? What they are seeing, are they not seeing, or is anyone aware of anything today? So that was about three o'clock in the afternoon, and staring us right in the face, artificial cloud. Cloud like we have never seen before. And trust me, the camera do not do these clouds justice. They're huge, huge. Then I go to the track. As I'm driving, this is what I'm seeing. More huge cloud, right smack in our face. Everywhere I turn, this, a white background with artificial cloud in front of it, vertical clouds all over the place, I get to the track. Every day I get to this track, virtually every day, I am not kidding. I see cloud that does not move, it grows, it reshapes, and sometimes it reshapes into a thunder cloud, but in every direction. And when I'm walking around that track, 
one lap. All it takes is one lap for these clouds to begin to reconfigure themselves. The changes are magnificent. And I can't believe I see people and they never, they just never take notice. But these smoke clouds, these artificial clouds are growing everywhere. You look. And then that, I don't know what it is, just a background of white, thin mass. Well, the clouds that you saw at the beginning at the track, this is one lap and voila, now we've got this. These things don't move. This is where I showed you that big, white, massive cloud. And it turns to this. This whole thing, you see how I can go there, I can see three massive clouds and they literally come together to form one big cloud, which you will see in a moment. And the, the cloud, the thick white cottage cheese cloud begins to open up and you can see it's like a fine mist of cloud growing, blocking the sun. So now we have this huge thing. There are times it's so surreal. It looks like you're on a plane looking down on cloud. No, but it's right smack there in your face. The white clouds, the gray bottoms. You can watch them literally engulf a white cloud, the gray, whatever it is. Then you get the roll clouds. I had no power last night from 5 p.m. till 9 a.m. this morning because of the winds that they generated. This black thing, this black thing above us, that was created from the white cloud stuff that you saw at the beginning of this video. The whole thing created. Nothing moved. Nothing moved. This didn't roll in like thunderstorms used to roll in. Now it's created right above everybody's head and nobody seems to notice. I am getting really sick of losing power. It's the second time in a couple of weeks. Lost power last year. You can see all of the microwaves being used. But this thing really transformed into something pretty scary up above. Nothing's moving. The tail end of that looks a little bit smooth. Well, in a few moments you'll see it's in the exact same place, but it's no longer looking very smooth. All of that black stuff, the, the very dark black, you can watch it get darker and darker. This is supposed to be our thunderstorm. Really? Okay, well, no longer very smooth. Frequencies at use. The winds picked up out of nowhere and the winds were really intense. So, whatever the winds did, did they knock down trees? 
3,000 without power in Anderson, 7,000 in Sanford without power. And people are just, you know, it, it, did they even recognize what was happening? Did they feel the winds? The wind at one point nearly knocked me over. I got into my car, it was rocking my car, and everybody's just setting up for volleyball. You'll see a woman, she drives in, she parks her car, gets out, starts walking around the track. Well, it used to be that you'd see thunderstorms and everybody would kind of go for cover, not wanting to get wet. They waited out. Now it's like it's not even happening. But it didn't rain. It didn't rain. And this is when I'm just getting into my car, getting away from the wind. But you can listen to the wind. It's coming up right now. Oh. That's a wind that is pretty intense. was kind of scary. So, the artificiality of life. So bizarre. This, you turn around and this is what you see. This is right behind you. That's supposed to be the thunderstorm. You got the light gray roll clouds, you got the dark gray, you got the black, you got the white. These are our thunderstorms today, guys. Now there is that woman, she pulled in, and it's beginning to rain a little. Well, we never really got a rain. We got a fine mist, a fine mist that actually Look at how level that is, and look at how cut off it is, by the way. But this rain, as I'm going home, my skin is like burning. The rain hits my eye. Well, that happened a couple of days ago, and it really, like, burned my eye. There are the kids playing volleyball like it's not even happening. Well, this is all the rain that we got. That was it fine mist. The winds, again, knocked out our power. This is such a bizarre life. What has manifested is incredibly bizarre. So, as you can see, very little rain at the track, but by the time I got back to my apartment complex, it was raining more heavily Strange things, though, were occurring at this apartment complex yesterday. I pull into the parking lot and I see a cat walking down in the middle of the parking lot as if it's not even raining. Cats do not go out in the rain. And then I had spoken to a neighbor and she told me, kittens, there are five kittens, the mother is a really good mother, but I started hearing these kittens crying in all different directions and my neighbor said she didn't understand what was going on because the kittens just started running. The mother was walking in the rain. I saw her walking uh, to a basement well trying to find I guess her kittens then she hears the kitten and then she tries to get the kitten and drags it across the parking lot 